So this is guy down the chippy last night. Yeah, he's got a brilliant business. He says to me, he's selling special hair gel from China to African people for their hair. Anyway, he's saying that he's making a 50% annual return on this. Amazing. So I've gone ahead and remortgaged my house and I've invested the entire amount with him. Go big or go home. That's the Pathan way. Alexander the Great, we saw him off. Russians, we saw him off. And now, African hair gel. Assalamu alaikum, I'm Ibrahim Khan from Islamic Finance Guru. In our line of work, we talk to a lot of people about their finances and their investment journeys. And we hear about some absolute horror stories. And in this video, I wanted to share with you the five big mistakes that we hear about so that you don't make them yourself. The first big mistake that people make is the one that your grandmother told you not to do, which is don't put all your eggs into one basket. Because if you do that, and that one basket goes up in flames, then you've lost your entire portfolio. And it's a really easy thing to avoid as well, which is don't put all of your portfolio into one or two investments. Diversify it, spread it out, put it across different assets, put it across different investment strategies, put it across different products. You know, make sure that you have your risk completely spread. So if someone pulls a rug from under one of your investments, you still have the substantive amount of your portfolio perfectly intact. There's another benefit to all of this as well, which is as markets go up and down, certain investment classes will do well and certain investment classes won't do well in that situation. But then in other situations, it will reverse. And if you've got a diversified portfolio, your portfolio will overall be around even keel. You won't have such volatility going on. The other big mistake that we see people making is that they invest based on excitement or emotions. And that is not how you should be making investment decisions. Because what happens when you do that is that you make mistake one, which is putting too much into something and risking too much of your portfolio into one investment. Or it could mean that you are going for something that is not suitable for you. So for example, if you need that money uh, relatively soon, let's say in the next year or two, don't put it into an illiquid investment that will be very hard to get that money back for the next decade, right? Even if that investment is going to give you a great return, it's not suitable for your circumstance. And let's say, for example, you need to put down a mortgage deposit and you really need that money, you can't afford that money to go down at all. Because if that money goes down a little bit, you're actually going to lose out your entire ability to get a mortgage in the first place. So don't put that into a high risk investment because sure, you could make a massive return, but also you could make a loss. And if you make that loss, that wipes out your ability to get a mortgage. So make sure that you are not investing based on pure emotion. So a few really easy ways that you can avoid investing based on emotion is by just taking a step away from your computer or taking a step away from the shop or wherever it is that you're being sold that thing and just thinking about it. If it's a large amount of money, sleep on it. Don't make a snap decision. Another big mistake people make, is really obvious as well, is that they don't invest at all. If you don't invest at all, you're not going to make any money and they don't invest regularly. I invest regularly, beta. You know, last time I invested was uh, 1952, actually, relatively recently. Uh, just, you know, I've been looking at the market ever since. It's been a bit choppy. Uh, I'll time my entry perfectly, inshallah, in the next few years, next decade or so, and boom, I'll make all the money. The single thing that will really make your money mount up is by leaving it in the ground for a long period of time. Let's say that you plant uh, a tree five years ago and then you plant another tree one year ago. The tree from five years ago will be much bigger than the tree from one year ago. Investments are exactly the same. You want them in the ground for longer so that they can actually grow. And what that means is that you leave money that you have invested in the investment pot for long periods of time so that that snowball effect can start taking place. The other crucial thing that you should be doing is invest regularly. Keep that drip, drip, drip of investment going because that then starts really adding up over time. What you shouldn't do is just invest randomly and sporadically and then you know, forget about it and that peters out because that is not going to add up to lots of money for you. 
investing without doing your homework or investing by relying on unreliable people is a big mistake. So my investment strategy is if I'm facing towards the Qibla, I invest in property, anywhere else, stocks and shares. Let me give you a demo. Qibla, 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 Qibla. Stocks and shares it is. Look, that's how mistakes happen. If you are not going to go to experts, if you are not going to do your homework, then you're going to mess up somewhere down the line. So you wouldn't talk to your plumber about your body. You talk to your plumber about your uh, broken faucet. You wouldn't talk to your GP about your broken faucet, right? The same is the case with investment. Talk to people who are experts in this area because they have dedicated their life to this. It's not your area of expertise and it requires a lot of understanding of what's going on. And the least that you can do if you really don't have much time is do a little bit of research to work out who you are going to actually trust. There could be a handful of resources that you regularly go to when you're, to, when you're thinking about investment. So things like which.co.uk or Money Advice Service, which is a government service or Money Saving Expert or our website, Islamic Finance Guru for Islamic Finance stuff. Look at the people that you trust, make your mind up and if you're happy with them, then rely on them broadly whenever you're coming to an investment decision. That will cut down your mistakes massively. Being too cautious or too aggressive at the wrong time is a big mistake. So let's say you are early on in your career, you're young, you don't want to be too cautious with your investment strategy because that is going to lose you out the big potential of making strong returns. Let's say you have an aggressive strategy and it does well, you'll be really well placed for the rest of your life. But let's say you have a really cautious strategy, what you're going to do is lose that potential to make those bigger returns. And let's say you mess up early on in your life, you still have the decades to come to more than make up for everything. Now, if you take that same aggressive strategy when you're older, with just a few years before retirement, that doesn't make sense because you'll end up risking all of the money that you've saved up and you don't have enough time to recoup that before your retirement. So make sure that you match your investment strategy with your time in life to make sure that you are maximizing on your investment overall. So Afzal from down the masjid, he's been investing in this cryptocurrency made entirely out of Indian herbs. So even if the cryptocurrency doesn't do well, you can still smoke the, the currency itself. That's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Remember, IFG is here to help you make money and save money. And please do subscribe to our channel to hear about all of our halal investment tips and saving tips here first. And leave us a comment. If you'd like us to cover anything, we'd love to know. Salam.